This is in fact happening again. And you may be wondering when it's going to stop, right? When, when are we going to finally get past this point? And what I'm talking about is Gary Gensler and the SEC basically saying that proof of stake tokens are securities. Okay. They tried to do this, um, last, I think it was last year, actually, they tried to do this last year and it's now coming, coming up again. And he says, this is all happening again because of, of Ethereum's transition to proof of stake. And so this directly puts Cardano in the crosshairs because Cardano is a proof of stake coin. Now, <clears throat> again, you may be questioning, you know, when is this going to end? When, when is the SEC going to finally stop coming after crypto? And it may be a while before it does. However, there is an event that could really get us to this point. And what it is, is the Ripple versus SEC case. Now, what this could do is this could lay some some pretty big groundwork, some framework for what crypto is, right? What it should be considered. Now, there was a precedent already for this case, and it was the library case. Library did lose, but the SEC then came out and said that, hey, library, the coin itself, is not a security. Now, if that same path follows for XRP, we could be in really good hands, and we could actually see the SEC's wings clipped. Now, it may be sound, sounding kind of strange for, for a government body to have their wings clipped, but it may show that the SEC is biased in coming after crypto. And it, it, honestly, I think we can all agree that they really are, right? They're, they're cracking down or trying to crack down on crypto really hard, but they're overstepping their bounds, right? Right now, there is no regulation surrounding crypto. There's no rules surrounding crypto. So they're, they're basically making themselves judge, jury, and executioner when it comes to all things, whether it be coins, exchanges, all these places, they want them to be within their own compliance. The rules for securities apparently continue to change by by the SEC, right? The Howey test, it, it is checked with, with every single coin out there, okay? Cardano, it, it, it fails the Howey, te Howey test, okay? What I mean by fails is that it does not meet the four pillars that, that are required, okay? Failing is a good thing, guys, okay, if you guys weren't familiar. You want to fail the Howey test because that means you're not a security. Most crypto fail the Howey test, all right? Now, again, when will this stop? Okay, this conclusion of this case is expected to be done um, actually by the end of March. So that'd be a really good sign. But worst case scenario, if it does get drawn out, it should be done by the middle of the year, end of quarter two. So that may be the time that we actually do get some direction. The FUD will finally hopefully fade away. I'm sure the SEC will still try to find ways to come after crypto and regulate it on its own authority. And unfortunately, they may not have as much power as they do right now. So I thought I'd share that with you guys. Just be aware this FUD is going to be out there. You're going to see this, this everywhere. The SEC stuff is going to be popping up all over the place. And don't necessarily let it deter you from what your goals are because crypto is not going away. Keep in mind, this is just a US-based thing. All right, this, this SEC trying to you know, deem something a security, yada, 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 right? Crypto is still going to exist around the world. This doesn't shut down a token. It doesn't deter any of the things that it does. It just makes them essentially abide by a couple different rules. So appreciate you guys as always. Love to hear your thoughts below. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell. Stay updated anytime there's new content live here on the channel. Hope you guys have a great day. I hope to catch you in the next one. Take care.